Time to get out of Tokyo. Sometimes it can really be a bit much. So I've decided to go to the country, take it easy, do a bit of skiing, which I hadn't done before. I can take the famous bullet train. I also got me packed lunch for the journey. The bullet train is not as fast as the French TGV but it does reach speeds of 160 miles per hour. It's smooth, quiet, always punctual and very expensive. There are more than 300 snow fields in Japan and I'm heading to the resort of Zao Onsen, two and a half hours away. This is my lunch for the train. It's called bento. It's what everybody eats here in Japan. That's not bad, actually. That's salty fish. Oh. This is the first time we've left buildings for about nearly two hours. Straight out in the snow. Get them skis on. Oh, dear. There's people get in the way, you know what it's like. Oh, I did lie. I've been once before, but only once. But that's when I was 15 and that was the school, I can't remember. But it's just like riding a bike. <laughs> I am so out of control. Best things that I've ever done. But I don't know what the Japanese think as I've like cut about five of them up already, just whizzing them past, because I'm mean, just so out of control! <laughs> it's just brilliant though, absolutely brilliant. Snowboarders have a dangerous reputation, but Marcel seems fairly civilised. He's an Englishman living in Tokyo and blowing all his money on the white powder. We have a very good standard of life and uh, it's, it's interesting because we live sort of on the fringes of society, I think. You're never accepted, um, however well you speak Japanese or try to conform, you won't ever be a Japanese person. I'm shattered, and plus I'm getting a bit too dangerous on the slopes. So I'm going to take some time out. And what better thing to do? Take a hot bath in these natural springs.
Being sensible people, the Japanese see no reason to stop skiing just because it gets dark. Just stick up a few lights and you could go on all night.